Yu-Gi-Oh! An incredibly complex card game with tens of thousands of cards. However, what if each set was separated from the rest of the massive card pool and your choices when building a deck were extremely limited? In this series, in order to learn Yu-Gi-Oh! from the ground up, I will be embarking on an adventure through the history of the card game with Jeeks. In each episode, we will have access to all the cards in a select product, and using only the cards in that product, both of us will build a deck before playing a best of three match to determine the winner of the episode. We will move in a chronological order in the series, and with each new episode, we will forget the cards of the past in order to experience something brand new. We hope you enjoy this adventure through Yu-Gi-Oh! and its evolution with us. Welcome to the historic Yu-Gi-Oh! learning journey. Guys and gals, ladies and lads, welcome back to another episode of the Historic Yu-Gi-Oh! Learning Journey. And uh, we are back with another Starter Deck episode. So this time we're doing Starter Deck Pegasus and Starter Deck Joey. So uh, last episode, spoiler alert if you haven't watched it yet, Geeks lost. So he got to pick and he uh, chose Starter Deck Joey. So he's going to be piloting a deck built of these cards and I'm going to be piloting the Starter Deck Pegasus. So let's take a look at the decks in what cards they contain. And this time, uh, it's now a promise. I promise my rundown will be shorter. I'll strictly, when there are good cards, I'll just tell you what they do. Because uh, I've noticed a pattern by watching stuff back where we explain the cards in detail, what they do, what we want them to do in the deck breakdowns. Anyways, if there is a card that's most likely going to show up there, it's just like, okay, this is what it does. Just on face value, and then there we will explain the cards and actually what we want them to achieve. So let's go through Pegasus first. So this is what I'm going to be piloting on right away. There's Relinquish, which is a level 1 ritual monster that can be summoned with black illusion ritual and you can target a monster and equip it to this card it gains the stats of that card and if it would be destroyed by battle it is instead the equip is destroyed and any any battle damage that you would take from relinquish gets inflicted on your opponent as well when it has a monster equipped and these uh, in general i should say that the power level of these is not super insane so compared to the last couple of episodes when we had like quite a few power cards we're gonna have some power cards here definitely but overall i feel like the power level of this episode will be lower then rogue doll and yurby are the best uh, generic beaters in the pegasus sardeg giant soldier stone and aquamador the best 2k walls that we still have hain hain makes its return on flip can return a monster to its hand sonic Berg on normal all flip summons a uh, such a ritual spell from your deck which obviously with relinquish can help do something then pegasus has mask of darkness which on flip targets a trap and asset to your hand and which of the black forest when sent to the graveyard you can add a monster with 1500 or less defense from your deck to your hand but you can't basically use it that turn mind your bug as well is final and back on flip just targets a monster in the field to destroy it a very powerful card that most of the time goes one for one Om ninja on flip targets a spell card on the field and destroys it if it's set you reveal it and destroy it if it's a spell and uh, otherwise gets returned back then we have uh, the tune cards we have blue tune ragon tune summon the skull manguru run to mermaid i don't think I'm going to be playing these, although it's pretty interesting. There are special summons, but basically uh, tunes can't attack the turn they are summoned. And these must declare, you must pay 500 to declare an attack with them. And then if you, uh, the, sorry, <laughs> tune world needs to be on the field to get these on the field. And then unless your opponent control say two monster you can attack directly with these cards so probably won't see them there's the tune world that basically is just activated by paying a thousand it is necessary for the tunes but like i said i probably won't be playing that black pendant and equip gives 500 when it's sent from the field or grave 500 burn damage to your opponent dark hole just very good field wipe destroys all monsters in the field fissure destroys your opponent's face up one of your opponents face a monster of field that has the highest attack and these spell is here change of heart targets a monster your opponent controls and takes control of it until the end phase pretty good for relinquish stuff mystical space typhoon i think it's only in pegasus actually so just very good generic 
a back row removal, rush recklessly, it's here as well for a generic attack boosting. Monster Reborn makes its return as well, so targets a monster in graveyard and specials it. Yummy as the spell card. Black Illusion Ritual is here to get Relinquish on the field. And one of the new cards actually, only in Pegasus, is Graceful Charity. Draw three cards, discard two. One of the most powerful cards ever printed in Yu-Gi-Oh! And in modern day, definitely better than Pot of Greed in most decks, but still. It's still very good. It gets you very deep into your deck. Trap hole for a just generic monster removal reinforcement. The castle walls are here as well. Waboku to prevent battle damage and destruction by battle for your opponents. <laughs> opponents, monsters, sorry. Summon tools of bandit. Uh, counters a trap card. Ultimate offering to swarm the field. Robin Goblin discards cards when you deal battle damage. Magic Jammer here as well. And then just some out. Traps with the probable won't be seeing. So very control heavy. You don't really have powerful beaters in the deck. You have a lot of very good removal. So the Pegasus deck is definitely going to be the more controlly of the two. Then as for Stutter Deck Joey, right off the bat, you have Red Eyes Black Dragon, a level 7, 2,400 defense, a normal monster, an iconic Joe Monster, obviously. Spirit of the Harp, Island Turtle, the to that 2k walls of this deck. A little less powerful in terms of attack points than the Pegasus versions, Pegasus deck versions, but contrary to that, we have Summon Colored Fish and Sky Scout as 1800 normal summonable beaters, as well as Gear Freed. Time Wizard, also here, obviously, an iconic. Joe Monster, but I, I highly doubt that the Jig is going to be playing it. Maha Vilo as well makes its return. And, <clears throat> excuse me, contrary to what was in Pegasus, in Mask of Darkness, and Witch of Black Forest, the Joey deck has instead Moth and Sangen. So, Moth instead targets a spell instead of a trap, and Sangen is the same thing as Witch, but 1500 or less attack. Void Magical Hat is here, and then Penguin Soldier, one of the most powerful monsters in the deck. On Flippy, you can target up to two monsters in the field and return those targets to the hand. So you can either bounce the Penguin Soldier and one of your opponent's monsters if you want to reuse this, or you can just bounce two of your opponent's monsters. Malevolent Nuzzler, the equip here, uh, gives 700 attack, and you can play, place it on top of your deck with 500 when it leaves the field. Dark Hole, Fissure, the spell, Change of Heart. A lot of similar stuff in this deck. Giant Trunate instead of MST, so mass removal for back row, but unfortunately doesn't destroy. Monster Reborn is here as well. Polymerization is in this deck as well, but I don't think Jinx is gonna be playing fusions. Then <clears throat> Graceful Charity in the Pegasus was exclusive and in the Joey deck is Scapegoat, uh, obviously an incredible stall card, has a, its own format that's probably the most loved legacy format in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Named after it in Goat format, obviously Justice Earth for Burn Damage Trap Hold, during front of Castle Wars with Poku Ultimate Offering here as well. Also the Joey deck has 7 tools of the Bandit but no Magic Jammer. And yeah, I sort of speed ran that. I hope that was not weird. It still took me eight minutes, but I'll try to shift more towards this sort of just the relevant cards. This is what they do and that's it. And then we will explain the, because most likely we will end up playing them anyway. Most likely we will explain them in detail. Okay, what? This is what they do, obviously, but this is what we hope them to achieve in the episode. But yeah, uh, I will be honest, like, I personally, I do think that the Pegasus deck is better than the Joey deck. And uh, I'm very interested to see what Jix is going to cook up with the Joey deck, given that he voluntarily chose to play that. So we will, we will see. But yeah, uh, that is the set breakdown. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, if you have any comments let me know what you think how i should do these set breakdowns do you want them to be like as i have been doing them or would you prefer just a shorter version since we're going to be covering them in the deck building most likely anyways but yeah uh, i will see you all in the deck building section 
So we're back once again. This time with some starter decks. Uh, we haven't done these since the Yugi Kaiba thing, I think, which was a while ago now. And well, this one is a lot more like evolved in comparison to those two. In comparison to those two, this like these starter decks have like actual strategies you can go for rather than just I'm going to summon my beater and just sit on the beater. And that's mostly because the fact that there are cards like Penguin Soldier, Sangan, Change of Heart. There's beaters that aren't your main monster. You have defensive walls. You have cards such as Shield and Sword. And you have Scapegoat. This is specifically for Joey's side, though. As for Pegasus, Pegasus has... Uh, rest uh, not restricted. Uh, relinquished. Relinquished. It has Relinquished and the Ritual card. And the Ritual card support in it. Not all of it, but like a solid amount of Ritual card support. And that's pretty good, too. Like, if that deck had... Uh, is it Senju? Or Manju? I think it's Senju. Uh, if that deck had Senju or, or Manju, both of them, maybe... And the bird on top of relinquished, I think that deck would be pretty good. I, I think there'd be a like mid range controly type of thing with that. But as it is, as it does, as relinquished doesn't have uh, any protection from uh, spell trap removal or like effect removal, it's kind of worthless. So no matter what happens, I can just pop with dark hole and fissure if it's the lowest attack on the field and if it's just on the field. So it becomes kind of kind of useless in comparison to other beaters that could just strike over. Uh, once again, we have Monster Burn, by the way. Monster Burn's back. Okay, I'll, I'll cover this real quick in a little more detail. So we have Magician of Faith and Penguin Soldier. These are the flip effect monsters for this deck. Magician of Faith, we already know what she does. She gives you a spell, trap, a spell card from the graveyard back into your hand. That's really good. Now, Penguin Soldier is... I don't think he's a new face. I think we saw him already at some in some set. But uh, Penguin Soldier is a really strong removal tool. So Penguin Soldier has the ability that when he gets flipped face up, you can return two cards on the field <laughs> to their owner's hand. Uh, and that means you can use it for bouncing himself, for example, if you flip him face up on your turn and an opponent's monster, which means you can reuse him. And the same goes for you bouncing himself and Magician of Faith to guard yourself, for example. And this comes into play later on. We're going to talk about that when we get to the trap cards. But yeah, Magician Faith and Penguin Soldier, really good. I feel like these are like the key pieces in making this deck do anything. Because like the rest of this deck is kind of whatever. There's a lot of 2k walls, but we'll talk about those in a moment. And there's Sangan. Sangan is our key card. It's an extra copy of Magician of Faith. And it's an extra copy of Penguin Soldier. And it's also an extra copy of our 2k walls. That's important. That's really big. Then we have Seven Colored Fish and Sky Scout, both of which them are 1.8k beaters. And the reason why I'm playing two different ones at four, it's because I just figured I don't really need uh, high attack value monsters against uh, Pegasus deck because Pegasus deck doesn't really have any attacking creatures. It only has weak defensive creatures. And the highest attack I think a normal monster has in that set in, in his uh, deck is 1,600. And other than that, there's Relinquished. So Relinquished won't be able to deal with my 2k walls if it equips a 7 Cloud Fish or a Sky Scout. And there's no other card in that entire deck that can deal with these, basically. So I'm just going to have four copies of these so I can limit the options for uh, Weave Fox's Relinquished when Relinquished hits the field. And also enables me to run more 2k walls while having better like spell, uh, spells and traps. I have Island Turtle and Spirit of the Harp, which are 2k walls, like we talked we talk about. Uh, Spirit of the Harp is 800 attack, so it's kind of weak, but Island Turtle is a big 1.1k beta too. Like, I think Island Turtle is probably the best monster in the deck, outside of uh, Magician Faith and Penguin Soldier. Like, outside of uh, the effect monsters, Island Turtle is probably the strongest card in the deck. Then there's one Red Eyes Black Dragon. Now, this is because of the fact that we're probably going to be going... For the long game, because again, there's we have removal like Dark Hole and Fissure and whatnot, but I feel like Red Eyes Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon might end up being uh, a relevant bomb at some point because of again our trap cards. Sky Scout I already covered and it's weird to help I already covered. Now we get to Change of Heart. We know change of what Change of Heart does. You grab an opponent's uh, creature and you attack with it, or you sack it, or you kill it for some other reason. It's really good, really strong card. It uh, serves as possible removal, possible aggro play, possible 
uh, removal of creatures that are preventing you from attacking directly, and so on and so forth. It's really good. It's real versatile. Then there's Dark Hole. Dark Hole is the best removal in this set or in these two decks, and it just does the same thing as it's always done. It clears the field. It's really strong. It's so strong considering I have Scapego and considering that he has uh, creatures that want to be on the field a lot and are kind of costly to get out. But yeah, Dark Call is really good. Then there's Fissure. Fissure is, again, a good removal tool if your opponent's only like playing one creature a turn or if they only have one creature face up. Giant Tornade. This card is going to be a key piece in preventing uh, Wee Fox from playing stuff like Trap Hole, Same Tools of the Bandit, Ultimate Offering, and well, any other traps he might have. I think he had a Magic Jammer as well. So getting rid of the magic jammer would be good. And then there's also the part where it can deal with relinquished uh, equip cards. That's pretty good as well. Monster Reborn, same as always. You get a monster from the graveyard and a special summon. It's really good, really strong for this deck, especially if I can get Red Eyes somehow in the graveyard somehow, which doesn't seem likely, but that's that's really good. And then the Spirit of the Harp and Seven Colored Fish and everything else. It's it's just a... Re and again, Sangan as well. I, if I can use Sangan, uh, like an additional copy of Sangan using Monster Reborn to get a additional copy of Filming with Soldier from my deck to my hand or something, yeah. Might be really good. I'm not entirely sure, but it's also for uh, Tribute Fodder. If I go like Monster Reborn into Change of Heart into Red Eyes, I only lose three cards if my opponent Dark Holes, and he might have lost more than that. So yeah. And the Scapegoat. Scapegoat is the, the, the de facto defensive card. You can summon four sheep tokens on your side of the field in defense position. They can't be tributed for Red Eyes Black Dragon, but they... Uh, they they also prevent you from special summoning for summoning away oh, my I forgot about that. Um uh, yeah yeah. So they also prevent you from normal summoning, which is support, uh, normal summoning or special summoning at all. So but you can still normal set. So for example, you have scapegoat on the field, you activate scapegoat on your opponent's side, on your opponent's turn when they attack, and then you play four tokens, and then you use ultimate offering on your opponent's or opponent's battle phase, and you you normal set one monster on your field, and you can do that. That's the legal play. And then we come to what I think will be the way that I win the game. Shield and sword. I think the only way I'm going to be able to win this somehow, because like I don't think there's a wing con in this deck at all, is by going and having multiple copies of the 2k beaters, having ultimate offering on the field, and using and clear my opponent's other field entirely, and then using shield and sword when I have four 2k beaters on my side of the field in attack position, and then I attack with them. And that's that's the only way I can see this going. That's the only wing con I have in mind. Then we get back to ultimate offering. Like we've talked about ultimate offering before when it was a uh, was in, I don't remember what it was anymore, but it's it's been a while now. Ultimate Offering is a really strong card because it allows you to normal summon extra times, but it also allows you to summon a normal summon or set monsters during your opponent's turn. And that part is really strong because if they don't deal with Ultimate Offering, they don't really get to get the chance to attack you ever. And if you use Ultimate Offering, you can always set cards like Penguin Soldier, Magician of Faith, Sangan, or some other 2k wall, so that they have to make decisions based off of uh, low or little to no information. So it's pretty good. I think this card is going to be key. And then there's Waboku. I have one Waboku. I was thinking of running three or maybe two. I have one in the side deck here. But like I was thinking of running three originally and cutting maybe some of the 2k walls. But I figured the 2k walls won't die for anything so i don't need multiple copies of a boku because i they the 2k walls will already be doing a waboku-esque job for me but then i realized oh i maybe still want to run a few so i can protect my magician of fate and penguin soldier from getting destroyed but still getting their flip effects off because penguin soldier can't bounce itself back to your hand if it gets destroyed because when you flip the card face up that card's already destroyed basically so when in combat you can activate Waboku and your monster just cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. So you flip Penguin Soldier face up and you bounce your opponent's monster and your own monster. And then you summon the Penguin Soldier back on the field using Ultimate Offering. That's really good. 
yeah, that's why we have a Boku here. And also simply so that we can possibly stall out a bit longer. Then onto the side deck. The side deck is fairly simple. Another copy of Penguin Soldier. I might end up just siding this into game two if it performs well. Uh, another copy of Sandcrawler Fish and Sky Scout if I feel like the game needs to go faster. Like usual, I always have more beaters if I feel like the game's tempo is slow and I can probably abuse that. Uh, same with Red Eyes Black Dragon here. That's why he's here so that we can again turbo faster. Uh, third copy of Change of Heart. Again, same reason. So we can turbo faster and try to win the game as fast as possible. Uh, Eternal Rest. Now this is specifically if his deck is like completely focused on getting relinquished out. I'm gonna try running these simply so that I can always pop relinquished with this. And not have to worry about popping my own field or something that's weaker on his side of the field. And a third copy of Shield and Sword if it turns out that I really rely on that strategy. And if he happens to be running a lot of like... Uh, high defense monsters and i can use this to beat over those when they're in defense position that'll work out great as well uh seven those the bandit seven those the bandit is here if he happens to be playing a lot of magic jammers and like every single trap possible and i feel like i need to deal with those but yeah i think i can't foresee myself putting many of these into the deck at any point uh then trap holes i didn't put many trap holes in because i felt like he'll never have a monster that i can actually use it on because like the biggest threats i want to use it on are relinquished but relinqu and relinquished and a man eater bug but man eater bug well you can't negate the effect and it doesn't even have a thousand or more attack and relinquished is a special summon and everything other than that is just like completely irrelevant you know so yeah, that's why I'm only running two and they're not even in the main deck. Uh, then there's Ultimate Offering, a third copy, if I feel like I need to draw it more. It's the same reason I'm running two here is the same that I did. Uh, the same reason why I only ran two in the past. It's because it's a really good card, but if I draw two of them, that's bad. It's only good in specific circumstances. And considering that I think uh, Pegasus has MST in it, it might be good to run three. So we'll see how that goes into uh, game three or game two. And then the second copy of Boko, again, specifically to protect my flip monsters from getting destroyed. And yeah. So yeah, that, that about does it. I think this deck is overall pretty interesting. It's kind of... It's kind of bland. It doesn't really have any win, any win cons in it. It's just meant to outvalue your opponent by reusing Penguin Soldier and Magician of Faith by bouncing each other, or bouncing uh, using Penguin Soldier to bounce Magician of Faith and Penguin Soldier himself by using uh, Penguin Soldier's effect on your turn, and then getting stuff like Giant Grenade, Dark Hole, Scapegoat, Monster Reborn, Fissure, and Change of Heart back into hand. I think this is a really cool deck, like in terms of uh, how you can play it. But yeah, we'll see how that goes and uh, how I'm feeling that day. Hopefully, hopefully, I finally, finally managed to somehow get a win. Holy fuck. Oh, man. Wow. Here's hoping. Because we're finally in like a set where it feels like, oh, you can't just bullshit a win. You know, you got to play the game right. Because Relinquish, the, the Pegasus deck doesn't have anything that you can just draw and win. And the Joey deck technically has some with Dark Hole, Giant Grenade, a Monster Born, and Scapegoat. But I feel like there's a lot of stuff in Joey's deck here, like Scapegoat specifically, that rewards uh, like slow play. And I feel like I'm pretty good at that. I might be tooting my own horn, but we'll see. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, uh, good luck and uh, may the best man win. <laughs> Guys and gals, welcome back, and here's the deck that we're going to be playing today, and yep, you're you're seeing right, we are playing a deck that consists of 41 cards. I had such a hard time picking between some of the stuff, that I ended up with, you know what, we're just going to play 41 cards and see what happens. Graceful Charity allows us to dig so deep in the deck, anyway, that I feel like it probably won't matter, but without further ado let's get into the deck so first off we're playing two relinquished and two black legion ritual to actually summon the relinquished and uh, the reason for this is if you look at our deck we have no win condition literally it's just like we're just controlling stuff and trying to out resource but like giant soldier of stone beat dung and only go so far so we hope to like deprive jeeks of 
like monsters and resources and then we ha when he actually established something pretty strong we can steal it with relinquish and uh, use that to win the game so that's <laughs> this is sort of here as our only actual win condition then we are running a three man eater bug this is just a really good spot removal basically always goes at least one for one on Unless he specifically dark whole set. Mask of Darkness at two copies. We have the third one in the side though. This is to recycle our powerful traps like Magic Jammer, Seven Tools Bandit, and to a lesser degree Trap Hole as well as Ultimate Offering. So obviously if you look at our spell lineup, it's pretty similar to what Jeeks has. Jeeks doesn't have MSD, he instead has Giant True Nade. And uh, uh, instead of Graceful Hair, Charity, he has access to scapegoat, but still a lot of powerful spells. And with us playing like a more defensive strategy, uh, he will probably be running Dark Hall at a large number of copies as well, which is why Magic Jammer is nice. Um, I guess I'll cover these now. Two of Magic Jammer and two of Seven Tools of Bandit, both basically just pay a cost. Magic Jammer discards a card, and Seven Tools of Bandit uh, pays a thousand to negate a spell and a trap respectively so these are just really powerful i'm just running two of each i have a, a third magic jammer in the side but i am not running a third seven dolls of bandit once i dig it i felt like this was really hard to construct and i ended up not running the third seven tools of bandit because this is mostly here trap hole most of the time won't affect the stuff that we actually summon and i done that seven tools of the bandit is like here to prevent his seven tools bandit or maybe ultimate offering but even for ultimate offering i have the msd anyway which by the way in case you don't know it just pops a back row so i feel like two of each is pretty nice i might side into a third copy of magic gemmer depending on how the games go uh i guess we'll fi finish off our trap lineup two trap hole when your opponent normal flips him as a monster with thousand more attack you target it and destroy the monster third copy in the side this is just here to remove stuff like seven colored face sky scout that he will most likely be playing and then we just have two ultimate offering uh initially i just had one and that was when it was 40 cards but i figured like i might want to see it a bit more frequently but i couldn't decide which cards to cut so i just ended up running 41 cards and this is just here to put more bodies on the board obviously making sure we don't overstand in, into dark hole but this can still like give us multiple bodies on the board give us e more easily materials for relinquish unless we can find change of heart which is here as just a one-off basically because it can help us swing for a game in very like niche scenarios but mostly this is here to maybe steal something, tribute that off for Bach Illusion Ritual to get our Relinquish and then steal another card from his side of the field. But I didn't feel like running more than one in the main was valuable, so I just threw the other two in the side. Uh, rest of our monster lineup, uh, Witch of the Black Forest is here as if we can steal something, we can use this as Black Illusion Ritual material so we can actually uh, get a replacement from our deck since when it gets sent to the graveyard from the field you can add a monster with 1500 or less defense from your deck to your hand but you just can't use it for the rest of the turn which is literally everything in our deck except for the uh, uh big walls and uh, uh which is also good because we can set it and if we have a dark hall if jeeks over if we have a witch on our field he has maybe two monsters uh at lo that at the moment, if we dark hole, it's basically a two for two since I'm using a card and get rid of one of my own, but I also get a replacement, which is pretty nice. Finally, which can also, because of the search, it can also add relinquish to our hand. So if we play the Sonic Birds that we have on the side, two copies that add a ritual spell on normal flip, that we have a search for Black Illusion ritual. If we get it that way, we can then use which to search relinquished if we need it. Then Aquamodor and Gen Soldier Stone, just the best uh, 2k walls that we have. Uh, Gen Soldier Stone, 1300 attack, so it can also result resort to be down if we need it as well. Uh, then we have two Dark Hole. Uh, I have a third copy in the side. I figured because I have a, a lot of like powerful removal, relinquish gets 
rid of his stuff. I am running stuff like Fissure at three copies. I have Trap Hole, I have Maneater Bugs. But more often than not, I should be the one that has the uh, wider field. And obviously we don't want to be minusing ourselves too much with Dark Hole. So and that's why we're running it only at two, but I figured I, I threw the third one in the side in case we feel like we need more removal. Uh, three Fissure, just the best spot removal that we have. Uh, three Graceful Charity, obviously this is basically just a pot of grief for us. Uh, it digs one deeper, but then you have to discard two. But uh, since we have a Monster Reborn, we can just discard something that we get the Monster Reborn back onto the field. Monster Reborn, obviously just resummons a monster from the grave. And I think that should be the main deck. So stuff that we haven't covered yet from the side, we have a third copy of Relinquish and a Black Illusion Ritual as well. Cause like I said, it's this is basically our only way of actually winning the game, which why I have it in here. We have one armed ninja. This is in case he's playing something like Maha Vilo or something. I highly doubt it. But basically the only thing is if he's playing Maha Vilo with Nuzzler which should be the only equip. Like if we can snipe the one of the three equips with this, then he shouldn't be easily getting more equips on the Mahavila. So this just here as a contemporary plan for that. I don't think he's gonna play it, but it's here nonetheless. Uh, Wapoku is here to protect our field in case he gets a very wide, wide field and into a position that he can swing over our stuff. Wapoku is there to actually keep our advantage and then finally we have two robin goblin and this is a pretty interesting card the idea of this is because we like i said we literally don't have an actual win con apart from relinquish which is why i literally like considered running the tunes but like having to include two more last well like it's too inconsistent it's too big of a package to include so we have two Robin Goblin and the idea of this, of, I should say what it does. So each time a monster you could reflect battle damage to your opponent, your opponent discards a random card. And the reason for this is because unboosted uh, Gen Soldier Stone and Aquamador are 2k and his best beaters uh, that he can normally summon with a triple are 1800. But with all the other stuff that we can set, he is still very likely to probably swing into uh, stuff that we have set, like monsters, not uh, not only to potentially get rid of them, but also to just check what we have set, because we have so many possible things we can check. So if we have a, a Giant Soldier Stone or Aquam Doors uh, set, and he swings into it, and we uh, flip up Robin Go Goblin before that, we are also like gaining value by him actually discarding the cards. And Although obviously we both have three monster reborn, this is random, so he can't just pick and choose. Okay, I'll just toss the best thing that I can then get back. So he managed to snipe something like a Junaid or a Dark Hole or even like Ultimate Offering. Like basically all of the spell traps are really powerful. Or imagine if we hit Scapegoat with this, like it's gonna be very very good value. So this is sort of just here, because obviously if it goes to the grind game, we should be winning. So this is here for that. But I I must be honest, I am not like confident in the stack. Like I don't know what really to expect. Like I said, I definitely do think this is better. I did also uh, build like a contemporary starter Joey deck just to see like what Jeeks probably should be playing and I definitely do think this deck is um, like much better but I'm just struggling to see like how we actually win the game here so that'll be something we have to figure out on the episode but yeah uh, that's been my deck hopefully it performs well and uh, hopefully we can keep our win streak going so uh, yeah I don't, I'm losing my thought. But yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoy the games and I will see you all in the dueling zone. Ladies and lads, welcome to another episode of the History of yu -Oh! Learning Journey. And this time we're doing Starter Decks, Joey and Pegasus. So, I don't know, I don't know why. I was like half going for like Mega Sus and then half like just the Pegasus and 
what I ended up with was Pegasus, I guess. So, uh, Pegasus. How, how, yeah, how are you feeling about the episode, Jeeks? I, I I don't know. I I tried my best to make something, but there was there was nothing to be made here. Man. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I I will say myself as well. I I'm not confident about my deck. We will see how or if it works at all. And yeah, uh, hopefully the games will be good. That's all or I can say. Or at least quick. <laughs> yeah, but say swift end to either of us. Wait and hope. That's what you Wait say, and right? Hope. Yeah. But yeah. That's uh, what it Modantis is sorry. So. Good luck. I joined oh, you rock in the rock throwing. throwing. Huh? Yeah, I joined uh -huh, in the rock uh -huh. throwing. I, well, uh, I'll have. I push it out. Oh my god, this guy. He throws rock every time, but then he just decides, no, nah, I'm not going to throw rock this time. That's just stupid. I'm kind of disappointed, I'm not going to lie. So we go standby main. I'm going to set two cards, and then I will pass. Alrighty. Draw standby main, and then we will start everything off with the most balanced card ever printed, Graceful charity so hell yeah we're um, but it's a the plus minus zero it's not that broken come on guys yeah that's that's true that's true actually uh we're gonna draw three and this is where the problem always lies when we have so many good cards it's like okay what do i get rid of now i think i think i will throw away this Aquamador. okay okay reasonable and uh, then, ah, shit. Ah, shit. Yeah, okay. Uh, this ultimate offering is uh, the other one that goes. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Then what we will do is we will... Does it make any sense? Not really. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll we check. will set a monster face down, and we will, yeah, sure, we'll just set a couple in the back row, and okay, okay. we are going to just pass it back to you. Uh, I, I draw, okay, okay, I, uh, uh, I'm gonna pass. Okay, well, this is <laughs> this is some phenomenal Yu-Gi-Oh that we are playing here. Uh, we're finally playing real card games. It's no longer about rushing. It's no, no longer about aggroing with Jinzo or some Skull or Sky Scout or Seren Colorization. It's all about setting cards and just sitting and be like, "Yeah, I pass. I got all my lands open. I pass." Exactly. I'm waiting for you to do something. Good old responsive Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? Hell yeah. Mm. Now this is where it's awkward. And... Uh, does this make any sense? Maybe not, but I gotta go for it anyway. Another Grace from Cherry. Draw three. Oh, well this... Plus minus zero. <laughs> this is hard. Okay, uh... Dark hole to the grave. Hey. And MST to the grave. I see. My cards are too good, man. Then it's so dumb. Am I doing it anyway? It doesn't make any sense. No. We'll just set and set i'm playing around your mech knights not putting too oh, many cards mech knights. in the same columns you know and uh pass it back to you uh i'm gonna stand by main and i'm gonna activate giant tunade she oh 
That kind of sucks. Yeah, I in response, I'll pop your back row. Ah, you activated my escape goat. Oh, we get some goats. A special summon four goat tokens. Boom. Yep. And then yep. Uh, it's fine to resolve. So okay. uh, it goes to put hand. these That's to my fine. hand. That's fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna dark call. Flip some of magician of faith to re-add to my hand. Oh scapegoat. yeah, and this then is... I'm gonna have to make dark call. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> no, I can't. Yep, uh, to the grave goes my Mad yep. Bug and Giant Soldier of Stone. And then I normal summon my Beatdown Seven Colored Fish. I will take the 1800. And then I pass it over to you. Seems pretty good. Mm, draw some by I main. I don't agree, but okay. <laughs> hey, you, you, you gotta take what you can get in this economy, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's an argument to be made that I should have waited for a bit longer, but I figured because you may have had a like man ear bug like you did, uh, it could have just completely fucked me over. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, I'm just gonna set a few cards and uh, yeah, we'll just send it back to you. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna body check your uh, man ear bug real quick. Yeah, it's actually. Another wow. silver stone, so wow. big wow. two hundo. Wow. Big two hundo. Uh, and then I set two cards. And uh, I pass. Alrighty. Stand by draw standby main. Uh how threatened do I feel at the moment is the question very very threatened okay just, just you know just making sure uh, yeah you know what I I'm loving this like high octane gameplay we're having and now when I've established that you're not playing mech knights I feel comfortable placing my face down uh -huh. there and uh uh, yeah, that'll just do it. Okay, okay. Uh, stand by main. Mm. Well, well, well. I'm um, kind of hesitant to do this, but I'm going to activate... He's thinking hard. Activate Fissure real quick. All right. Uh... Soldier of I... Stone to the graveyard. Oh, no magic jammer? Okay. Then I summon my other beatdown, Sanga. Sanga beatdown I... is too powerful, so I'm going to have to flip up this <gasps> trap hole that I just actually No got. way. No way. And I get to activate him. Yes, you Hell do. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But then... I, I speed ran all of my bad, my bad. It's, it's all good. I will take the 1800. I'm going to add to my hand a uh, Magician of Fate. Seems pretty good. It's 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 your turn. Uh, thank you. Oh, f f <laughs> God damn it. Fuck it. It's uh, yeah. I think I will... A Monster Reborn... Okay, okay. What are you monster reborning? I uh, will bring back the S Soldier of Stone, you know. I don't think he got okay, to okay. play the game enough, so. If okay, I see. That is okay. I see, I see, yeah. Oh. Yeah, uh, that, that'll do it for me. Uh, stand by me. Now I'm gonna flip summon my Penguin Soldier. And now I will target your giant Soldier of Stone. And my penguin soldier to bounce them back to our hands. Penguin soldier doing what it does best. And then I attack using seven colored fish again. Bro, this big fish is being a big meanie. It's huge. And then I set another card. It could be anything. It could be anything. It could be the magician of faith I added to my hand using Sangha. Yep. And... 
Ah, shit. Are you gonna... You gonna monster report my Sangan, huh? I'm just looking, you know? You gonna let me balance my Sangan and my Penguin Soldier back to my hand? Mm. I will say that I am pondering some dumbass plays right now. Okay. Is it gonna be Dark Hole into... Uh... Master Born. I'm not. I'm really not like respecting the Dark Hole here, by the way, at all. I should have just not played Penguin Soldier here. Yeah, I think but... we gotta dig deeper. So we'll fire off the third copy of Graceful Charity. What the fuck? I mean, if this is a, a Dark Hole or even a Fissure, it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I will throw away this change of heart. As well. Wait, that's good too. Yeah, and this Aquambador, but the reason for that is I also found the Fisher, so we'll attempt yeah. to do that. That's fine, that's fine. Can't do anything about that, no magic jammers. And uh, then... Now, you monster reborn and I get to bounce both of these cards. Or I just set a card face down and end my turn. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go stand by main. And I'm gonna get this. Flip summon. No shot. And I'm gonna Only bounce your own. this thing. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking. He's thinking. He do be thinking. I'm gonna bounce. I'm oh, gonna bounce what the hell? And then I'm gonna set one card face down. Could be anything. Could be anything. You'll never know. Ah, uh, the misery. Um, Everybody wants to be my enemy. Okay, so this is story You're all some... about how I hate life, and uh, you know, you know, you feel me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of feeling you. Uh, here, here's some music you can play in the background for this fight, by the way. <laughs> Don't actually do it, but like, just, just. <laughs> I'm trying to get distracted. No. Okay, but it's the, like there's no. no just master reborn the no, seven clock fish. I'm gonna master reborn the okay. giant soldier stone from my hand by using my normal seven and ending my turn. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go stand by main. I'm gonna flip summon. Do you not? I'm okay. gonna flip summon Magician of Fate. <laughs> I was about to say, there's no way it's the goddamn penguin again. I'm gonna add to my hand giant true nade. Yep. I'm going to set two cards. Set three cards what in tarnation and then i will mm. i will pass Alrighty. what in the goddamn uh, that boy ain't right uh, mr krabs i am drawing a bad cards <laughs> SpongeBob, my boy, my cards are terrible. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this bit. Uh, don't worry about it, me. Okay, I mean that's gonna be a fucking penguin again. No, that bastard. What do you mean? How could it possibly be another penguin? That penguin is a bastard, and you know it. I mean, I can't deny that, but you know. Imagine when I bounce the Magician of Fate and the Penguin Soldier to my hand. Oh, boy. Because, like, the problem is the rat can always, like, just, even if I swing into it with something I get, it's like, yeah, I'm just dipping out. Goodbye. You have a good one there, buddy. No, no, no. I don't think I can actually do that. I don't think I can bounce it. Can I? Wait, is it Flip Summon? I thought it was just uh, No, 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 no. I'm going to double check. But... I feel like it it could possibly not allow itself to get bounced, but I'm gonna double check. I would assume it does. 
But yeah, sure. Let's make sure. Yeah. If it's not destroyed and uh, for it to get flipped face up, it basically gets destroyed. Okay, gotcha. So, yeah. Well, that helps a little bit. So. Pretty sure that's. The honestly, I'm calling for this to be the bastard. Oh, before I go battle phase, I'm going to flip summon this guy and then. Okay, okay. If that is fine, then I'm going to battle phase. That's acceptable. And then I would like to get rid of this bastard that I assume is the penguin soldier. Oh, you've activated my Wabuku. Speaking of bastards. Which allows me to not have my creatures be destroyed this turn. Okay. Now but... I flip the penguin soldier and I bounce a giant soldier of stone and magician of faith to my hand. Seems good. And yep. then since I have the Well. At the end of your battle phase, yep. I activate ultimate offering. Yep. And, and I pay 500 life points to the card from my hand. Could be anything. You know? Could be anything. Yeah. And uh, then we will uh, set this card. Could be anything. And be anything. we will uh, suffer. You are invited to suffer. Hell yeah! Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go stand by main and then get this. I flip some a penguin soldier. <laughs> Fucking bastard! And I bounce just to get rid of him. <laughs> hey, hey, hey it, it, it's not necessarily sign <laughs> soldier. Sorry, sorry, I, I forgot. It could be anything. And then I attack using Penguin Soldier. <laughs> Bro, this, this piece of fucking shit, man. Oh my god, I love it. And then... I'm not gonna set anything. Alright. Uh, draw stand by main. Oh boy. I, I don't know why I keep looking in our graves. Like, nothing has changed in the past, like, seven turns. Nothing has entered the graveyard. <laughs> okay, but dead ass though. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... Normal summon giant soldier oh stone. Oh my god. Is that okay? okay? Okay, That is acceptable. I will proceed to the battle phase. That is acceptable as well. I would like to swing my giant man made of stone and steel and murder this okay, okay. tiny penguin and finally get one of them off the field. He's gone. I'm, Thank I'm sorry, God. penguin Now there are He's only gone. two more to deal with. Now at the end of your... Oh, yeah, uh, go ahead. At, at the end of your battle phase, I'm going to pay 500 life points and I'm going to set one card. Definitely. Like, it could be anything. It could be anything. And uh, then I will proceed to main two. Yes, and yes. I will... Uh... Sure, let's set another back row and pass it over to you. I... I... How is he so talented? <laughs> I, I just drew fish? the best card in my deck. Man. Oh. You, you want to know what it's called? Well, let's hear it. It's called Monster Reborn. Oh, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. basically a fish. That's a fish. But yeah, yes. I yeah I I got a magic jammer this shit. Yeah, 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 I was expecting this. I was uh, now the question is, what do I get rid of? And the answer is dead ass. I'm gonna throw away my own Monster Reborn. Hell yeah! I mean, you could have got a fish, right? You could. You could you yeah, just, like, and then fish. the fish could have been your fish, cause you know. Yeah. The penguin that is perfect. a bastard. That's perfectly acceptable, right? I'm gonna go into end phase then and uh, pass it over to you. Thank you. I graciously accept and... Huh. Interesting. Honestly? Yeah, I think... I think this is gonna be a moth, so we'll actually just walk into this. Oh. I'm gonna flip my spirit of the heart. Okay, I will take seven hundo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, proceed to main two. I am okay with this. And, uh, huh. 
Now remind me, I didn't summon my giant soldier stone this turn, but it's attack. Can not. I still swap it to no. defense? No. Okay. And if it attacks, it can't be changed. Yeah, I figured. I will set and I will... Will I? Huh. Oh no. Mm. I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Um, you know, just thoughts. <laughs> you too? <laughs> yeah, I'm unbelievable, I know. It's kind of kind of rare these days, I feel like. It is. I I will admit. I mean, you have the true aid. Oh, you still remember that. I you was know, hoping I you forgot. <laughs> Some sometimes sometimes I I'm not. Actually, do I? It's so dumb. Yeah, no, I I will just. I set another and I will pass it back. Okay. I go standby main. I activate giant grenade. Yep, and I will okay. take. Actually, yeah, I will just uh, get these back to my. Okay, I return hand. these to my hand. And then I activate Dark Hole. Yep. And yep. the Grave Mask of Darkness and Giant Soldier. And Is then I set two cards and I pass. Oh. Well, I will. Reset. I will admit that this is not what I was expecting. Hmm. Now this is interesting. But how interesting? I figured since you dumped a monster reborn and you already used one, you wouldn't have a third one in a hat. And yeah, I that would you Pegasus know that would be has... crazy, right? That would be funny. It would. Uh, I'm gonna monster reborn. Okay, what are we gonna monster reborn? Uh, my own giant soldier stone actually. Ooh, wow. In attack position. In attack position. Is that okay? I'm okay with this. Okay. Monster Born goes. You know, given that I fired off three Graceful Charity and three Monster Born in this game, my position is pretty awful. I feel like these cards are surprisingly good. Yeah, I feel base. like it's, you know, it might be a player issue, but that, that, I'm not going to say that. No, 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 no. I, I think it's genuinely the fact that Penguin Soldier and Magician of Faith have been carrying me super hard. And the Seven Call of Fish, like in my starting hand, also put a lot of pressure. I love being greedy. Normal Aquamador. Is that okay? Okay, okay. Then I would like to proceed to battle. And attack Equimodor for 20 hundred. I activate ultimate offering in response to your attack. Okay. I would like to activate ultimate offerings effect. Is this okay? It is fine. I pay 500 life points. I set a card. Uh, I'm not gonna redeclare with Mador. Okay, okay. Uh hmm. Actually, I, uh, can I can I change the card that I just? Uh, you can. You can. Uh, uh, nothing uh, has uh, happened, so uh, you can just. Yeah, nothing has happened. Uh, I'll I'll just set this card instead. I feel like this card is better here. Okay, now the question is: I poke into it. It's a two K wall. I go to basically no life whatsoever. Or it's a penguin soldier, which I know one of your monsters in your hand is, which can. If it bounces, so okay. So if it bounces both of my dudes, it's oh, wait. Could it? It's dead anyway. If I swing into, uh, supposedly, yeah. if it's a penguin soldier, I swing it into it. It's dead. You lose your entire board, and you have normal summon this turn already. So you would lose that too. Yeah. Your board uh, is not. Honestly, I being at zero life sucks. If it's a wall, 
But if it's you, you draw any monster, you have any monster in your hand. Yeah, I think uh, I have to swing in this and assume it's a penguin okay. soldier. I flip my penguin soldier okay. and I bounce both of your cards and it dies. Yeah. Th thank God. Uh, to get this back to my hand, I'm gonna exit. But if you wanna use the. Uh yeah, I'm I'm gonna. Think think uh. No. You won't use it. I will not use. It, no. Alrighty. Uh, I think. That... I don't want to get hit with that dark hole that you still have to. Uh... Yeah, that's you know that's fair. Uh, I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set, and I'm gonna s actually use one true nade. Uh. Which I've reused. Yeah. Uh, pretty good card, that. It's a pretty good card, I will admit. But I can't believe this is game one, by the way. This is game one. I, this is a really, really slow game one. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's one more penguin soldier. I didn't... I was just sighing a sigh of relief, but yeah, I, I'm glad to see two of the bastards gone, so we only have to deal with one more. I yeah, I think it's... with that... I am going to pass. And now, okay. no monster that's big enough, please. I... That's a bummer, dude. That's a massive bummer. How about you that? I passed. Holy shit. I passed. That is actually insane. Now, we ask the question once more. How greedy do we want to be? Go face. I feel like... Summon giant soldier stole like, or aquima door. <laughs> or... Which of the Black Forest question mark? Oh my god, that's so fuck fucked up, dude! <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, there, there is no way you had something... Oh wait, you have change of change heart. Change of heart! <laughs> that's actually so funny. I didn't even consider, but yeah, I was... I... <laughs> but yeah, yeah, isn't that fine? That's acceptable. That is actually fucking funny. I, I didn't even think of it. Uh, yeah, uh, I would like to go battle phase and attempt to attack. Do you like I pay 500? Items? Yep. I set a card from my hand. Uh, I will elect not to redeclare, actually. And I will yep. proceed out unless you wanna use it again. Nope. Okay. And uh, then we will. Uh... I need to get this dark hole out of your hand. Yeah, I will just pass it back. You know what they say? I know. Sometimes you lose games. Ooh. That's pretty good. Sometimes you lose games. Ooh, yeah, that's that's you know that's pre that's pretty good. That's pretty good. This is back to my end. That's yep. That'll do it. And then we also have Monster Reborn because oh. I figured. Oh, I'm gonna giant grenade. You might have two magic jammers. I'm gonna change of heart. Oh, I should actually uh. Done Monster Reborn first and then change of heart, and, but you know. Mm, that's fair, that's fair. But yeah. You... And I should have summoned the Spirit of Heart. You got it. Let's go. Game two. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> that was a good game. That was a very good game. Yeah, so of uh, like 10, 15 minutes after, I think I am done. It's really been that long. What the hell? I think it felt like a long time, but yeah. Good luck let's see what happens mm. 
It's number main. Oh, no. And uh, we'll just do a humble T pose here and uh, okay, okay. pass it back. I uh, stand by main, I set one card and I pass. We are gaming. Draw it's stand by main. Off. We're going real fast again. And it's always funny when we have like a set or two that go really fast and then suddenly we just like cr uh, slow to a crawl. Yeah. Uh... So you set one month. Do I? Uh, I'm, I'm actually thinking, do I even do that? Do, do you set one monster with the threat of Dark Hole being in the format? When I can trade my one card for your two cards, or two cards for your two cards. I have five cards in hand, you have three cards in hand. If I get rid of three of your monsters with a Dark Hole and I lose my monster, I'll still have more cards in hand than you do. Pass the damage. turn. Okay, I'm gonna Dark Hole. Yep. Uh, That's okay. I did a buck to the grave and a witch to the grave. Oh, oh we, we both uh, got it. Got it. You f All clever right. bastard. So I'm going to add a card to my hand, and the card I will add is going to. I be think I will actually get another witch. Ah. Oh, <laughs> a man of culture, I see. Yeah. I see, I see. Oh. Uh, then I will. Set one card and pass. Seems pretty good. Uh, draw a stand by main. We made that I should go more aggressive here, but I feel like we're gonna we're gonna slow this down even further. Uh, I wonder what you're setting here. I wonder. Do you want to check? Um, I think I'll actually just I like to set a card, which you know. Yeah. Yeah. Could be anything. Could be anything. And then, yeah, I think I'll just pass on that. Okay. Okay. I'll stand by main. Uh, I'm going to. Set one card and pass. <laughs> you remember the Ribbon. thread about uh, Dark Hall that you were talking about? Yeah. Hmm. I'm fully aware of this. I'm doing this fully knowing that you're going to have to trade your Witch of the Black Forest and your Dark Hole for my Sangan and something else. Another Sangan. Another Sangan. Mm. Uh, you can't activate it twice. Set a monster pass. Well, well, well. Now that isn't a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... Huh. Now you can't dark hole. You do know that, right? You're gonna go like minus three for dark hole, <laughs> or actually minus two. But you know, I think you can't. The guards that are gonna the field on my side of the field. Yeah, it's it's maybe a plus one, plus two. Huh. Hmm. Now the problem here is that penguin soldier is a bastard. Yeah, Take as always. Card. Man, ultimate offering with Penguin Soldier and Mag Magician of Faith is really strong. It's pretty good. Like, but as long as you can't be certain that the card that I'm setting isn't either of those, or is either, is one of those or something else, uh, you're kind of screwed, because you can't use Dark Hole on it. It might just be negative one. Yeah. Mm. Is Man. this what blue-white feels like? <laughs> Probably, honestly. Okay, I think yeah. we're pretty close to that. Oh, this is such an awkward position. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I can assure you that you should not summon more cards. <laughs> or <laughs> should can... I? I would never bluff. Uh... Honestly, I think the play is just pass. Hell yeah. 
I draw, standby main, I set two cards. I do not pass. like that. Oh no, that's tragic. Uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, uh, go. Go? Uh, this is video game. Go? And their peak. Uh, all right, uh, just making sure. Seven was the... Uh, six yeah, yeah, yeah. Six is, oh, wait, is it six or seven? You you have to discard if you're at seven. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Uh, stand by main. Um, go? <laughs> I would rather not discard, so I guess what we'll do is... Yeah. We'll set a card and uh, pass. Uh, in your battle phase, I activate ultimate offering. Yep. And I, I assume I, you would like to use it? I would like to use it. Seems good. Okay, I, I set a card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I... Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, I, uh, and, my yep, turn. And bye. Nothing in my face too, just confirm. Oh yeah, they're five hundred. By the way, I have to pay for my bad. My bad. I forgot. I forgot. And yep. yeah. Uh, stand by, main. I would like to. Hmm. And this is a tough one. Uh, I would like to flip, summon magician of fate. Uh. Yeah, seems good. That's okay. That's okay. 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 I, I wonder what you're targeting here. Uh, I'm gonna add uh, a card that you could possibly not have any clue what it is to my hand. Yep. And and then I. Uh... Hmm. 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 Now this is a problem, you see, because uh, I, 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 you know. You know? Now you attribute all three to summon Obelisk the Tormentor. Dude, if I had a tribute monster, I would have fucking done it already. I don't have a... I kind of removed my... Uh, what's it called? I'm a red eyes. So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of screwed in that. <laughs> oh, sense. yeah. Whoopsie. Uh, whoopsie daisy. Uh, I, I think I'm just gonna consider your hand, consider my hand, consider my field. I think I'm gonna John Turn. Huh. Honestly? That's okay. In response to that I'll pop the offering. Uh, uh I don't think Anything? there's any nah, I think that's fine. That's fine. Alrighty. So then, then that's good. So this goes back to my hand as well. Yep. Uh, then I activate Darkhold. Yep. So yep. to grave, to grave, and to grave. Oh, a 2k yeah. wall and a searcher. How uh, peculiar. I hmm, that was funny. Uh, this How time I will actually add to my hand a man eater bug. Uh, I will add to my hand. A magician of fate. Seems good. It's funny. Then I will. Uh... Imagine modern Yu Gi Oh players when Set one card. they see a hard can hand that's nine cards. Stand by main. They're drooling, drooling at the thought. Now, what is the set? And is it is the set a moth? Hmm. Do you want to swing into the moth and try to find out if I can get my dark hole back? I kind of do, honestly. Okay, okay. I can, I can totally get why. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know what? We will actually... Normal this Aquamador. Okay. Go to battle phase and see what this yeah, is. Yeah. It's a island turtle. Big turds. I will take I love 800. Turtles. And uh, go main two. Yeah, and yeah. then I need to set two if I don't want to. 
discard everything. Sure. Right. I'll set this and this and pass it over to you. Okay, I stand by main, I activate fissure. Yep. Pretty yep. good. It is gone. That's acceptable. It's... Uh I go battle phase. Oh sorry, I I, I turn this to attack and I go to battle phase. Yeah. I yeah, will yeah, yeah. take eleven hundred. Yep. Uh then I Don't know anything. Alrighty. Draw standby main. And uh... I will check your man eater bug, by the way. With Island Turtle. I will. I promise. Gotcha. I am actually considering something rather foolish. A foolish play, if you will. And uh, honestly, no. it's so dumb. Yeah, no, it makes no sense. But what I will do is... Will I, though? Is the question. We all must ask ourselves. Yep. Uh, normal Sonic Bird. What the fuck? Declare the effect. Yeah. Okay. Mm, uh, looking cool. Okay. Uh, then battle face. Swing That's acceptable. Yeah. Three hundred. Yeah. And uh, main two. Set a card and actually. I mean it's. True. Nah, it doesn't still matter. I'll just pass on that. Ah. If it'll let me. Oh, okay. okay. My turn, my turn. Uh, start turn. Stand by main. I would like to normal summon. Seven colored fish. I would like for you not. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, I I go into battle phase and I attack using seven card fish. This hurts. But I'm actually gonna waboku this. Waboku. Yeah. More like what the fuck. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to pass. All right. Oh, and oh my god. Graceful charity. No. <laughs> Wait, did you not add a ritual spell with Sonic Bird? Just to check. Uh, I did not. Okay, that's that's worrying. Okay, how greedy am I? And the answer is absolutely fucking lovely. Actually, wait. What are you gonna summon from a graveyard? There's nothing in there. <laughs> uh, like, this is the biggest okay. gear I got. Okay, fuck it. What we are going to do we is we're going to. Uh, a monster reborn, and we're gonna target my own Witch of the Black Forest. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I ram it in. Then, no. what we are going to do is we are going to Black Illusion Ritual, and I am going to tribute the Witch of the Black Forest as the tribute. Ah, fuck. I will get from my deck. Wait, deck? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but like, you have to uh, do the ritual first. Oh, yeah, it's first. Then, yeah, 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 yeah. it's obviously it's relinquished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you do the thing. Yeah, yeah. And then I will uh, get from my deck. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Honestly, yeah. I will get uh, my third which is Black Forest. And then I will use the effect of Relinquish and I would like to equip the seven color fish. Yeah, yeah. now you can move it. 
Okay, how the question is here, how do can I move? Okay, I'm gonna do yeah. this. I'll just do that. It's probably the easiest. And that's gonna be 3200 damage. And uh, then I will uh, uh, normal, normal summon, summon this you. Witch of the Black Forest because we're already going all in. Fuck it, dude. Then battle phase. Yep, that's 11, fine. 25, and then total. She is... attacked in the right that's order. Funny. I can't. Gores. No. Yeah, and uh, then that'll. Yeah, that'll do it for me. And now Dark Hole uh, meets okay. and end my life. Uh, stand by main. I activate Monster Reborn. Uh, yep, that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm kind of bummed, but that, that, that's fine. I'll be honest. I will summon Sangan. And, and now I, you attempt to Dark Hole, and that was a bluff. I attempt to Dark Hole. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's fine. Everything dies. Everything dies? Okay. And then I get to add to my hand a card with 1,500 or less attack. And I, I will to my hand add this thing. Hmm. What's in my grave? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I will just add this a uh, giant soldier of stone. I can't add the uh, giant okay. soldier of stone. I will put oh, it in yeah. my deck and I will instead Ooh. add the uh... a sonic bird. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm. I will add. Mask of Darkness to my hand. Okay, okay. That's pretty good. Pretty good. It's uh, not bad. I then set one card and pass. Yep. That's so, I, mean. I was trying to bait a magic jammer on the Sangha, as you can probably tell. Yep. Definitely. Yeah, it was kind of, uh, or uh, the Master Born, I mean. And then I decided I'm just gonna. I, I would have played another one. And if you had paused for a little longer. <laughs> I, I will say, like, if I had the Magic Jammer, I would have definitely, obviously, used it on the Dark Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um... I'm actually just gonna call it that some off. I will Dark Hall. It is, I'm off. Thank God. Okay. We did something. Uh, I will set a card. Could be anything. And uh, I will just pass on that. I did a dumb th thing. I should have done another and by thing. Main, I activate Monster Born. Yep. I that special is... summon Sangan. That's pretty good. I, I swing into your manager board. Yep. And uh, that thing also dies. Yep. And then I get to add to my hand a card with 1,500 or less attack. I add to my hand... Thank God it can't add fish. Island turtle. Ow. And I shuffle, I shuffle, and then I set one card. Oh, right. And I uh, set two cards, sorry, and pass. Seems good. Draw stand by main. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll do this in your end. I'll just pop oh. the thingy so you can't activate. It. Okay, thank God. Okay, so yeah, that's that was two. Yeah, that is absolutely massive. Okay. I don't have MST, man. This is so rude. <laughs> uh, then we will uh, set a card and set a card and. Yeah, that'll just do it. I take turn. Uh... <laughs> Bro, th these games have been grinding. I set one card. Pass. Yep. <clears throat> Wish I had a card that just said you can't play on my turn, man. <laughs> one, three, fairy. Oh, no. I think that thing's banning by you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Which is kind I of mean, crazy when you think you about know, it. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I will just set a pass. 
Bro, I wish I did a different thing with my... I definitely misplayed Flipson. earlier. Yep. Both Bounce of both of mine, I am assuming. Or just one and... Uh, I'm just gonna play it safe and bounce both. Yeah, makes sense to my hand. And yeah, I attack. Yeah, 750, nothing on that. Yeah, and then I... Nice. Seems pretty good. Oh, that is a juicy dark hole. I lose. Oh. Now the problem here is that my follow up isn't too great. <laughs> and yeah, like it makes no sense. I'll just, I'll just set pass. Okay, stand by main. <clears throat> I. Bro, closing games with this deck is hard. I activate joint grenade. I. Okay, this is where I have to think, actually. Man. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, it resolves. Both of these goes in okay, hand. Okay. Uh, I then set one card. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, I set one card and I set another card and it passed. Alrighty. Draw standby main. Uh, this is where it gets really fucking hard. <laughs> you know, uh, Graceful Charity. Oh my god. Is that okay? That's okay. I don't have magic damage. Oh yeah, I, the deck had seven tools. Seven tools. Yeah. So I will throw away. Um. Terrified. You have one more moth. I have one more moth, and I have oh scapegoats, God. and I have obokus, and I have... If there's a bunch of yeah. goats. I am going to pitch... This is so hard. Okay, Waboku for sure. But now the second one is so hard. It's so hard, actually. Yeah, a fissure. Okay. And now you flip your Mask of Darkness face up to get your Waboku back. <sighs> yep, or I set a card. And uh, I set, 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 and pass. Yeah. I'm so uh, pissed. I was a dumbass. Like, this game could have been over so long ago, but I am I bad at the video game. Flip some magician effect. Yeah. I add to my hand a dark hole. Is this okay? Yes. I activate dark hole. Yeah, I have to uh, magic jammer this, but now this is where it's so fucking hard. Yeah, no, uh, I'm going to throw away the change of heart. Okay, okay. Then I... Set one card. Pass. Oh, I hate what kind of a halt we are in. Now, what's the play here? Two 
two dark holes. Now Almas. A monster reborn. Scapegoat. Scapegoat will like oh. grind this game to a halt. Wait, there is Wait, there's mm -hmm. actually no way. What's up? Hold up, I need the thing for a second. Okay, okay. That's actually heartbreaking. Oh, that's so fucking awful. Yeah, uh... I will flip summon Maneater Bug and pop this set. Oh my god! Nice. Thank god. I will... Flip some Max of Darkness, get back Magic Jammer. Uh, okay. And I am going to Monster Reborn from your grave, Seven Color Fish. Assuming your back is nothing, you want to know how much damage this is? Uh, well, it's exactly Thor. It's no, 50. Damage off lethal. Oh, I am not kidding. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. Battle phase. Obviously, if there is Wabokus or something, then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me... Uh, Seven Tools the Bandit, that. Yeah. You pay 1,000? Okay, okay, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you're going to be at 50 life. Which is so fucking heartbreaking. I hate this. I will set a card. Could be anything. And I will pass the turn. And then we fucking pray. If there's a third dark hole, I'm actually gonna just lose it. Actually, wait, never mind. I might have set a card that prevents that. I set a card and I passed. <sighs> oh, I'm going to throw up. I'm actually gonna throw up. Did you just... Bro, I sw if that's a 2k wall, fish into this. I mean, I'm actually go. I'm, I'm gonna pass out. What's up? <laughs> you good? Uh, oh, stay pay. Stay on page. Well, I almost just left the page. Yeah, both of these the defense and go. I stand and draw. I... Oh, I am going to. I'm gonna lose it. I try to normal summon. Trap hole. That's okay. Bro, why can I not elect to flip monsters back face down? Because because you need a penguin soldier to bounce them. I pass. Thank fucking. God, uh, dark hole, mm -hmm. and then after that, normal this swing for game. So I wanted to play this, but there's a problem. Yep. Yeah, I also wanted to play this, but I figured you're not gonna fall for that. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Bro, I, I would have been so fucking mad if I lost it. So I was playing two relinquish, and I was like, why the fuck did I just not add the second relinquished? earlier with the witch so i actually had a beater like closing games is so fucking hard in this format yeah there's no beaters to actually deal damage so you're in kind of a rough spot usually yeah so, uh, understandable but yeah uh i'm happy we made it to game three this games have been both half an hour so yeah let's go game three and uh, let's go game three. Oh boy first Good I get to go first. Luck. Oh, oh boy, this is not a good hand. To oh, first. yeah, I, I was. I set a card and passed. Oh. Awesome. Uh, I would like to. Set a card and. Set a card and. Set a card and. 
set a card and <laughs> okay okay maybe that's it. yeah uh pass that's that's a lot of setting <laughs> it's a lot of background I'll give it uh up. Yeah. stand by main i uh i pass uh in your battle phase i would like okay to... so then main phase two before end yeah yeah and then mm. i'll pay a five to set a card oh you're gonna pay five to yeah. set a card uh, in your main, in my main phase two, I will activate dark hole. Okay, and I will die. Uh, yeah. And then we go here, and uh, yeah, I mean, let's just get the pressure on. I guess summon this swing for thirteen. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I <laughs> fucking hate this. <laughs> I hate that I can't use control A, A if I... Uh, oh, yeah, something yeah. Enough. Fair. Uh, yeah, and I... Just pass the turn. I uh, stand by me. Bro, I swear I... these dark holes are glued to your head today. Change of heart. Yep, you can have it. Yeah. And actually... I should have probably not done that yet. Oh. Yeah, I'll just take the... Actually, yeah, I'll just take the 13. Yeah, yeah, and then I... Main phase 2. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, Nothing uh, in your I... I pass. All right. Uh, thanks for returning my card. Wait, at the end of end phase, you get a bat. I appreciate it. Not snatched. It. It's not quite snatched. <laughs> Thank God for that. I mean, uh, giant soldier stones beat down. That's fine. And uh, back to you. <laughs> Do you uh, want to borrow him again? Me. I activate uh, fissure. Honestly, I'm gonna magic jammer that. Yeah, after the giant tornado. Yep, that's pretty good. Uh, all of this stuff back to hand. I summon Sky Scout. Yep. I swing. Five hundo. Two hundo. Set a card, and then I set another card. My path. Hmm. Mm, yep, yeah, I will just set, 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 and set, and pass it back to you. Uh, stand by main, I activate change of heart. There is no way the one card in your hand is red eyes. I flip summon. Yep. It's not red eyes, but I'm gonna just come out and say well, it's one point two k. Is that okay? Yes. I'm assuming you're also and swinging these guys. Yeah. Yep. I'll just yep. take so three k. Uh, and then I end my turn. <laughs> this is a much faster game, huh? That's a lot faster. Draw stand by main. And uh, hmm. you will I didn't get the control set. I got like more of an aggro set. That's fair. That's fair. And uh, after uh, the first two games taking an hour in total, I that's that's pretty fair. I think I'll that's just fair. set another monster face down. And, uh, yep, that'll do it. Uh, I'm so mad I'm not drawing the card that I want. I'm going to access Fissure. Yep, um, my door is gone. Yeah, and then I swing into your 2k wall. Or a Manator Bug. Yeah, baby. I set one card, I pass.
I mean, it could be anything, as you say, blind, but like, I'll be honest, I'm way too scared of your grave having so many good spells. A dark hole, hope it's a moth. Okay, well, that was. I mean, it would have punched me still, so I guess that's whatever. Uh, go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's bad. This is a skill game. Did you know that? <laughs> that's pretty good. 1800. <laughs> that's a skill game for you. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, there's a lot of cards that do something here. You know what, Jeeks? Is it? Congratulations. What? You did it. I am a soul... Bro, I cited in... Oh yeah, let me do this. But hey, that was a fast game. Congrats for the win. I'm so mad. I cited into game two. Into two. Robin fucking Goblin. Which is, oh, it, it was the next draw. My next two draws were both traps. That's awesome. Oh, no. I set it into two of this shit, thinking, okay, I literally cannot end the game. I'm legit going to just starve you of resources with just walls and this. I never drew it, ever. I mean, I'm so sad. That that would have been insane, simply because of the fact that every time, like, every time the game went to a situation where I was bouncing my own stuff, to like reuse them the first game was so intense simply because of the fact that i got to bounce so many yeah. times like if if uh if you had destroyed the penguin soldiers earlier it would have been way easier for you to deal with my board yeah but like that yeah i just because i figured because it's literally i don't know how i'm supposed to end games with this deck honestly i'll be real I still yeah, you're... I, I still do think this deck is better than the joey starter but dead ass relinquish and hope you play something big is the only thing that I have to actually yeah I'm so sad we didn't see the red ass black dragon I think if you played the toon monsters you would have probably had some line of play but at the same time the question is are you reliably going to be able to play them yeah and I feel like it's not possible because I was like I was thinking because both of us have access to three fish and three dark hole I figured it just like there, there are going to be too many situations where the uh, tunes just don't do anything. I was legit considering uh, playing some just because it's like when I built this deck, I was like, I do not know how I'm actually going to win. The kind of reason why I had Robin Goblin in the first place was like, I literally don't know how I'm going to win. But the removal in this uh, deck is a lot better. And uh, I mean, Penguin Soldier is a bitch. A moth adds good stuff to hand. It's like, and like you said, you have no real trap removal. You can obviously bounce stuff with the, uh, the true, nade. Yep. true nade, but then next turn stuff just comes back. And it's pretty hard to, without the those specific removal spells to actually get rid of stuff. So, Yeah, I feel like, I'd say that the Pegasus deck is better simply because the fact that the spells and traps it has are more yeah. effective. But at the same time, I might be blinded here. I, I, I might be looking at this card and thinking, damn, that's a good deck. But at the same time, it's like, what do you use this for in the deck? What would I, you build out of that deck? With? I started with three. Game two, I had yeah. one more. And now I had one. I literally sided out of two. Yeah. And I feel like it's because the deck just doesn't have options for it. Now, let's say if you mixed and matched both of these, I would argue that Graceful Charity would be insane in these decks yeah simply because the fact that it would allow you to speed into uh, magician of fates use magician of fates effect like more uh more efficiently because you can just use a uh, graceful charity to discard a spell you don't want to use right now but you want to for example use magician faith and flip summon it and bounce it and something you yeah can just have like free discard fodder with that i think it would be really interesting and i think i was more afraid of the pegasus deck Overall, like I was genuinely afraid that Relinquished was gonna pop the fuck off, but then I reread if this card would be destroyed by battle. And, oh. Yeah, that was the thing with the like the second I just went all in and uh, dropped the Relinquished as well, and I'm like, I mean, hey, it has protection, and then I went to look deeper, 
Yeah, it's just by battle. It has quote unquote protection. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, uh, Dark Dark Hall was definitely like MVP of both sides this episode. Like, man. Yeah. And, and this time I got to win using Monster Reborn. That's true. That's true. It's yeah. Hey, skill f- game. But hey, congrats on the first win. First of many, I'm sure. I I, I think yeah. curse has been finally like, been broken. I'm happy to three, see that. Three, th- four, thirteen. I think that's the score. Okay. Yeah, I I have that. honestly no idea. Not that I would have to check. remember anyways, but happened yeah. to see that overall, like, I think all of the games were still, like, very good. Like, the first two games were very back and forth, and then, I mean, here I just got my ass blasted in, what, f- like, five turns, I think? Yeah, this like, this was so fast. Started, but, yeah, very fast, very fast. Yeah, I feel like uh, the same friend that I uh, had around mm-hmm. gave me a piece of advice in relation to Dark Hole that like overextending when there's dark hole in the format is never worth it like if yep. i play one monster and you play two monsters and i trade my dark hole for your two monsters and that then set a monster it's a net positive for me because i get more tempo yeah one thing so that i i, I kind of took that to heart one thing that i definitely noticed was that like i had fuck that doesn't work i had so a few actually monsters and that like really started to bite me in the ass was like i just i'm not finding any monsters because like i had obviously three medora three giant soldiers shown three three witch three let's face man eater bug and then i was running two mask of darkness i think Initially, I had two Sonic Bird in the side and uh, setting into one, and then I had the two Relinquished and two of the uh, Ritual Spell, and then I had a third copy of both in the uh, the, the, the side. But it's like, yeah. I definitely feel like the big problem was that I just wasn't really finding monsters. A lot of my monsters also just outright dealt with yours, like disregarding uh, relinquished like the 2k walls are really good but because you need to go on the offensive with the 2k walls i'm the beat down and you're kind of screwed by having no good control effects like you have seven tools you have mask of the bandit uh, mask of darkness and whatnot uh but you don't have magician of faith yeah moth was definitely like <sighs> moth and penguin soldier were definitely yeah. like the highlight cards in the joey deck it's like overall the deck was a lot worse, but then you have like a few just really blowout cards that, man, kind of crazy. It is, but yeah, but yeah. That, that was a really good set of games. I, think. I definitely think this was one of the better ones for sure. One of the sets of all time. <laughs> this definitely was one of the sets of all time. But yeah, uh, what do we have next? I literally forgot. Uh, wasn't the next set after Labyrinth of Nightmare? Yeah. Pharaonic Garden? Wait, was that already? Or something? Is it not? It might actually be. Oh, it's Legacy of Darkness. Oh, Legacy of Darkness first. Okay, cool, cool. I. That's, yeah, it's a, oh, that's a good set. I forget what's in there, but yeah. We'll... This is really... This is going to be cool. This is going to be fun to play. And this is going to be hard to figure out a deck for, simply because the fact that it has a lot of like high-value cards. That's and cool, yeah. If we end up in a situation where we can actually use these effectively, we can even like lock each other out. It might get boring though. If if I'm looking at this right. Oh yeah. <laughs> One final thing that I never forgot to mention in the episode itself. We were talking about it a little bit beforehand, but yeah. My card my deck had forty one cards. I had, oh, yeah. I had a hard time deciding between some stuff in the deck building so i just ended up playing 41 don't feel like it really did anything i saw a decent amount of different stuff but yeah i'm just sad i, I never the graceful saw charity is really helped with that yeah definitely like that was sort of the idea it's like how deep you can get with graceful charity that's why i kind of figured like the one extra card isn't too bad and with like stuff like sonic bird finding the ritual spells which being able to search like have my monster lineup. There's a lot of stuff that just find stuff, but yeah. 
What? The uh, shield and sword. So, you you didn't oh. get to see the OTK. Oh, what was this the thing? <laughs> yeah, it's eight thousand attack total, man. That's actually sick. Oh, uh, what was the set like, by the way? Ah, uh, scapegoat. Gotcha. Like you would not have been able to swing through this. Yeah. Without uh getting like another dark hole and another monster in your hand. Yeah. That that was a really good set. Like, holy hell. I'm I'm kinda impressed. Like I thought the Jinzo set was good. Because of the fact that we got like actual plays in that, but this feels like what I've been told GOAT format feels like. Yeah, like the games were super like super grindy, super back and forth. Like that yeah. was really dope to see. Like the part where I said, "Is this what blue white feels like?" It, <laughs> like the the way that I was playing felt a lot closer to like uh, something out of Magic in the sense that I just bounced stuff constantly in a crude value. I didn't have any negates or uh, counter spells. Yeah. But like, imagine I have counter spells on top of that. Like that's that that's effectively what I'm, I'm bouncing my own permanent and your permanents to gain value out, out of replaying them while also keeping you in check. Yeah. That's so pretty good said we didn't get to see red eyes black dragon but overall i do agree and i think this was a very good set i, I would have loved to have got the <laughs> short sword and shield OTK. i had two of sword and shield in my deck or shield oh, and sword yeah. in my deck uh in the first game and then i set it out of one because oh, i figured gotcha. oh i'm not gonna get that and i also set it out of uh one copy of the 2k walls i think gotcha gotcha yeah it was pretty but... weird siding for this game so yeah it was like very hard definitely like probably the hardest siding stat we've had so far at least for me yeah i feel like this format was harder than most others but i think that's because the fact that the decks themselves had a intentional line of play you were meant to go for mm -hmm. but that's not what we went for yeah that's fair that's fair so. But hey, hopefully you enjoyed watching this very, I'm sure this will end up being very lengthy episode as much as we enjoyed playing them. And yeah, next time we will see you on Legacy of Darkness. So hopefully we can keep this up and hopefully this will be the start of a, a bounce back for you, Jeeks. Surely <laughs> I will win six more sets. I mean, it definitely could happen, you know? It definitely, it definitely could. could. I'm, I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got one, man. It only took like seven episodes. Uh, I mean, seven isn't that bad. And uh, if we look at the, like, how those ended, multiple of those were absolute. Like, you drew, like, well on this episode, but I don't think it was, like, nearly the uh, amount of bullshit I mean... that happened in some of those episodes. This this last game was absolutely a whole lot of bullshit. I mean, that, that, that was some bullshit for sure. But yeah, I also, I definitely could have played better. I have multiple things. Situation yeah, where I definitely misplayed, but yeah. it happens. It, it does happen. I agree. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. And we hope to see you next time on Legacy of Darkness. So have a good one, y'all. Uh, peace.